Hi everyone. I'm back. <laughs> um, it's been a while. I think it's been uh, 11 days since I've had a new video up, so I do apologize for the delay. <clears throat> We're going to jump straight right in and then I will um, let you guys know where I've been and, and why I've been absent. So I think first thing I want to do is I'm going to cut some tags and cards to fit inside of here. Okay, I'll do that while we're chatting. So I think in my last video I told you all that I was um, heading to the airport I believe like the next day to pick up my parents and they did come home um, back for a little bit um, and then they are back in sunny Florida again. So they were here for about 10 days. Um, and I have been sick off and on for about the last, um, hmm, probably almost 10 days, <laughs> about nine days. Um, I have been under, under the weather off and on. seems like one day I feel, um, <clears throat> a little bit better and then the next day I'm, I'm down again, so... And I am just cutting a card here. I think I want it to stick out just a little bit. A bit of a tight fit in there for some reason. Oh, I know why. Because I put some glue back there in the back. See, I'm still not all the way back. My head's still foggy from all the cold medicine I've been taking. And, um, my daughter, the one that's in college, she's been... The one that's in college like I have another one you know what I mean um, she's been sick too about the same amount of time I have she um, did finally go to the clinic down there at, at college at school and they told her she has bronchitis but they uh, can't give her any antibiotic for it because they say bronchitis that they don't do that anymore for bronchitis that it's a virus and not a or caused by a virus and not a, hmm, is that what I want to do? Caused by a virus and not by bacteria, so they didn't want to give her any antibiotic, so. And I'm not going to argue with that. I know nothing about the medical field, so if that's what they say, then alrighty then. But they did give her some, some good prescription meds to kind of help with the symptoms and whatnot, so. I am cutting off, sorry, I'm off camera, but my paper trimmer, as you know, is so big. I'm cutting off just a little bit because I want to kind of make a little tab here, I think. Or I could just use my tab punch, couldn't I? Yeah, I might do that. Let's just cut that off. I do apologize. Like I said, I am not fully back 100% yet. And let's see. Got my tab punch. I think we'll do green because that's handy. And I'm going to put the folded side, this side, in my punch. Got some leftovers from last time. I'm gonna put the folded side up there at the top, but not all the way. Leave a little gap in your punch. A lot of people don't know how to use these tab punches, they say. So you just leave a little bit, and then that way, if you don't punch the fold, you've got a little folded tag that's ready for you to just glue on, see? Just like that. I have to admit I was a little bit stumped by that punch at first too. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, it's 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 been a long 10 days. It really feels like it's been about a month and I feel like I haven't really spent any time with any of you in a month and I know it hasn't been that long, but I've missed you guys. And I do apologize, I have not really commented as much as I normally do on on videos and on my Instagram posts. I haven't really answered back that much. It's just with being sick and my parents being home and then trying to ma manage normal daily stuff, I, it's, 
I kind of had to put it on the back burner else I wasn't going to make it through the day sometimes. So, yeah, there we go. See, that'll go in there just like that. Then we can decorate it up. And we are going to try to wrap this thing up today. Even if this video has to be 40 minutes long, I really would like to get this project done. I hate to say, I think I might have lost interest because of having to put it down so many times. Anyway, I hope everybody has been well, not having to deal with the same thing. <sighs> Got a couple more videos I'm going to try to get done today. I'm hoping I, my energy lasts long enough to make it through all of them. And um, I've ordered, I ordered a few <clears throat> new glues and those came in. And so I want to try those out and see how they go. Yeah. Um, also, <clears throat> if, uh, I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I may have to put a throat lozenge in. In my other video, I told you guys that I had a gift card that somebody gave me, and I did go ahead and order the wax and uh, seal set, so I'm anxious to play with that. It's still brand new in the box. I haven't got it out yet, so we may get that out and play with it here later on. I'll try my hand on it, see if I can epically fail on, on camera. <laughs> As I already know, I'm pretty good at doing. And I've had a lot of messages, tons of messages, guys, on am I going to have any more journals out? And I, I do apologize. It does. It is taking me a while, like I said, with being sick and, and uh, priorities elsewhere. But, yes, I do have more journals that will be coming out. I, I, hmm, I really hope to get them done this week or next week, maybe. I'm just going to use up some of this scrap right here. Um, there will be four of them, and I will do it just like I did last time, where I'm going to announce the day and the time that they're going to be listed, and uh, and that'll be that. So, because I, I just can't, I can't do it any other way. And the ones I'm doing, I think I told you already, they are herb themed herbal themed so I'm using Victoria design the maker of this kit I'm using their kit and there's a bit of graphics fairy in there and they they were they're very pretty already I'm liking them a lot okay, I'm just doing a little bit of layering here I'm trying to use up some of my scraps I'm not too worried about if I have if I leave a writing surface on this because I think I'm gonna leave the back plane for writing one and let's use some of this wax paper that Lisa dyed she's been selling a ton of that paper so it is really neat I'll make sure I put her link below so you can go check it out on her shop. It's not too bad price either. Decided I wanted that under there instead. There we go. And I think maybe just a little bit of stitching. Do we want anything else on there? Don't need the green, do we? I don't normally do a lot of collaging and layering, but um, with the style that this journal is, it just, it, I don't know, it seemed like it needed it. Okay, I'm going to run this through my sewing machine and give it a little bit of a stitch. Okay, I was going to, but then I forgot that my sewing machine is not at all ready today. We've been doing some rearranging of things, and um, 
And then my mom, when she was here, did some altering on my dad's pants. So I don't even have the right needle or threads or anything in my machine right now. So I'm like, I, I don't feel like messing with all that right now. <laughs> I might be lucky to just to make it through getting this done. Okay, let's put this in here. And the back will be blank for writing on. And there we go. And then this one, I think what I wanted to do there was just put a sheet of writing paper in. So it looks like I may, may need to trim it down just a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and fold it. And I think I want it to stick out just a tad. Just fold that up. And I'm just going to trim it off just a hair. Yeah, there we go. And just give it a little bit of ink on the creases like they like it kind of got dirty. Like that. Okay. That's what I want to go in there. So it looks like a letter in there. Okay. And now I want one on this side, and this one I think I was going to use some tea dyed paper. And again, I think I want it to stick out just a tad. Okay, and then I need to trim it off a little bit. That ought to work. Last week I was feeling so poorly I canceled my nail appointment and I'm supposed to go in, I don't remember if it's tomorrow or Wednesday. I've already lost two of my nails because I've put it off for so long and like I said I canceled because I wasn't feeling well and I'm like I'm still not really feeling great but I don't want to cancel again. this in there. Sometimes simple is better. You know when the envelopes are this busy on them you don't need to have journaling cards and tags in there that are equally as busy you know. Sometimes a simple piece of paper does the job. Okay then we had this little pocket here and I've cut a piece of cardstock to slide down in there. I think I'm going to cut the corners off. Um, a little piece of cardstock here. If you put, if you double up something when you cut the corners on a tag, you can make them match perfectly by flipping it over just like that. Okay, see, now they're the same. Okay, so that's going to go in there, and then I had I had this piece of lace. This is actually antique lace, and that, oh, I like that one better, I think, because you can actually see the flowers through it. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. I'm not very talkative today, guys. I'm just trying to keep from coughing all over you. Okay. That doesn't be too shiny through there. I think it'd be all right. Okay. Then uh, let's collage this tag just a little bit. I 
Thank you all for your wonderful comments, though, that you've been leaving me on my videos and Instagram page. It's, it's really, really appreciated. And if I, if I don't answer you back, please, uh, please know that I've, I read all of the comments. Um, I don't always have time to respond or I try to make sure I go back through and hit the like button or the heart button on everything or answer questions when I can. Um, but my channel has just grown so much more than I ever expected and sometimes I have a hard time keeping up. So if I don't respond back, just at least please know that I I've saw I've seen and appreciated your your comments. Okay, where did I do it with my glue? <laughs> there it is. Back here getting ready to drip on the counter. I'm out here out of out of frame, out of focus. Sorry guys, I'll get my my head back sometime. Do a bit of green since this is going on that. Put a little bit like that. That will work. Collaging is not as complicated as you might think. Just grab a little of this, a little bit of that, and don't overthink it. So I'm really excited to try out those new glues I was telling you about. I ordered them on Amazon. I don't know. I, I've had them for probably a week now, but I just hadn't felt like doing anything with them. But <clears throat> I've heard about them. Well, okay, I've heard about the one. It's called Yes Paste. I know a lot, I know several people use it, and I've heard good things about it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a whirl. Um, and then the other one looks like it is going to be a glue very very similar to um, art glitter glue I don't even remember what it's called something about a bear it's got a bear on it I bet it has the same types of tips that art glitter glue has um, so I'm going to try it see if I like it any better than art glitter glue it wasn't really much cheaper maybe a little bit um, but the one thing they said about that glue is that you can buy it in the winter time. I, I know art glitter glue oftentimes suppliers won't send it when temperatures are below freezing because it will freeze and this other glue the company said that you, even if it freezes it's okay once it thaws it's just fine that it doesn't affect the way it works so I don't know kinda sounds too good to be true but the weather's been above freezing here. I don't know where where the package came from, but can't really put too many thick layers on this because it won't fit in this pocket if I do. It was kind of kind of thin. Let's put some hole reinforcers on here. It's okay, Colton, just grab what you need. Yes, I'm videoing, but you can you can ask me a question if you need to. Okay, let's just keep it simple. I may add something to this later button or something, but for now let's just let's just keep it simple. Okay, 
and what do we have left? We need to put some tags in here and tags in this pocket. And then this one back here, I'm going to leave this pocket inside empty um, because that would be where you could store away memories and keepsakes. So I really don't think we need to put anything in there. I had these little tags that it came with, but they're too small for these, these pockets. I could put a smaller pocket somewhere to use them up, but I don't think so. I'm, I'm winding down. <laughs> Let's let's see here. I don't think I've got any more double-sided papers. And it's supposed to be a stack of letters anyway, isn't it? So I think let's cut let's cut that down just a tad. Put it in there. I need something in here. Yeah, that will work. I think we'll round the corners. Woohoo! Throw it away. <sighs> And let's ink up the edges a little bit. This ink I'm using right now is Gathered Twigs. Tim Holtz Stress Ink in the Gathered Twigs color. This was the match to that, so let's let's use some of this on our journaling card there. Kind of like the, the header on the paper there. That's kind of neat. keep the picture intact. So we'll tear a little more down this side. And let's tear it off about right here. Okay. nicely. And I do have a little more room in this pocket to, to make things bulkier if I want to. Ew, my glue bottle just spewed all over my corner rounder. <laughs> I didn't put it up right. I don't think I want any music page on that one. I do think maybe a bit of the green. I am just keeping it simple today, guys. But really, with these beautiful digitals, really don't need a lot anyway and I really don't want the journaling cards to overpower the, the 
these neat pages, you know. So I think in this case, simple is better. And let's put let's put some sari on this one. Find my little stapler. Leave it blank on the back for writing because that's kind of the point, isn't it? And then I think I have this piece of tea dyed paper here that's had a chunk out of it, so I think that would be a good one to cut down and stick inside here. Where are we at on time? Okay, we're only on 26 minutes, so that's not too bad. And trim it down. Didn't trim it down quite enough. Yep, that should work. And if I want it to stick out a bit, I'm not going to fold it completely in half. I'll maybe just fold it a little bit. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you think it needs anything else? Kind of like it the way it is. Could put some little trims on it here or there, but I kind of like it the way it is. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to wrap this up, guys, because. Um, I'm just going to put one more journaling card in this pocket here, and I think I will do it very, very similar to this one. Because um, that should look fine. Yeah, I'm just going to do another one very, very similar to poke in there. So we don't need to do that on camera. So I think that is our finished little journal. These tie here in the front. So we've got... those four things. These tie in the front. I like the way that we made the words come through the window right there. And then we'll put our tag, our card here. And then we've got all our papers for journaling. And we've got some storage in the back. And that's our pretty back page. So I think it's a wrap. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm, it won't be in the shop, guys. So I will probably send it out in some happy mail or something like that. But thanks for joining me on this little adventure. And um, if you make one of these, make sure you tag me um, on Instagram or um, uh, use the hashtag the Book Vandal Shop on YouTube, and I'll be able to see your video if you make a video of it. But I'd love to see um, what you make. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys in a little bit in the next video. Um, Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.